Local Government Commission has approved Guilford County's application for $1.7 billion in school bonds. Voters passed this back in May. The school system plans to use that money to rebuild or renovate 31 schools and construct three brand new ones. Another $363 million will go towards safety, technology, HVAC and plumbing. Skip Alston, the chair of the Guilford County Board of Commissioners, said in a statement, quote, we are making a historical investment in our future. Our children deserve this. Now it's time to get to work delivering on the direction set out by our voters for the benefit of all of our school children now and well into the future. Not everyone's happy though. State Treasurer Dale Falwell, who chairs the local government commission, points out that in that same election, voters rejected a quarter of a percent sales tax increase that was designed to help pay for this bond. I'm not incredibly thrilled with uh, the fact that uh, there's been decades of neglect in the upkeep and the uh, rebuilding or refurbishing of Guilford County schools. And now, now we're in a period of the highest interest rates in decades. We're in a period of the highest construction cost in decades. And, uh, you know, putting all this together financially means that uh, there'll be an increase in property taxes, which in, it hurts lower and fixed income people worse than anyone else. Now, Guilford County did not raise its property tax rate in the new budget, but homes were reappraised earlier this year. And after that reappraisal, the bill for the median home in Guilford County is now $418.50.